we have a huge problem a massive problem and that problem exists with our windshield we have a split windshield here it has come dislodged from the gasket and it is a massive problem stay tuned i want to show you how we got it fixed <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our channel. Uh, we're glad that you guys came. We got a big problem here, and that is our windshield came dislodged up here in the corner. And I noticed it as we were driving our last time. We were driving down the road, and I noticed water was coming in this way. I took the piece off here so you could see it better, but look at this. It's absolutely just wide open for wow. the air. So it comes all the way down to here. It's all the way up into there. There's a there's a trim piece that goes right along here, so you can't see that. But but we have looked everywhere for someone to do it. We tried Safe Light Auto. We tried everywhere that we could, looking for a place to do it. We finally drove over over an hour just to get to this small little town guy. Uh, I'm not gonna say small town little guy, but he's a he's a guy that said he would do it. He works on RVs all the time, and so we are here at Troy's Auto body and where's this at it is in we are in warrington warrington missouri and sometimes you gotta drive away and make sure you get a good enough guy to, to work on these things but, but we couldn't find anywhere it, all they would do is either replace but they wouldn't reset it right and so this guy's going to reset it for us and we'll show you the actual repair once it is done Well, here we are back from our trip and uh, we just picked up our motor home. We drove it home and uh, I looked at what this guy did and he did a great job uh, taking care of the, the windshield right here because you know it was broken out and uh, so he took a great job at sealing that. I'm going to show that to you here in just a second but on the way back we it was really windy when we were driving back and and when we drove back uh, i could hear the wind coming through the driver's side <laughs> that's right the driver's side uh windshield and so i was wondering about that so uh, i got home and i took off the the uh, trim work there and i noticed we were having kind of the similar same deal on the pat driver's side as we had on the passenger side so i decided not to uh, spend the money um i thought well let me just repair it because i've seen what this guy has done so let me just repair it myself i watched a couple more youtube channels watching how they install windows and all that other stuff learning about how to take care of stuff like this so i came up with a good solution but first let me show you what he has got accomplished and then we're going to move over to the driver's side and show you what has happened okay here it is right here you can see that he sealed all of this up with this black uh, sealant and and kind of like a, a glue and so it sealed it all up he went all the way down here and kind of sealed everything up came up you can barely see that but he came back up around and did the same thing up in here and uh, just ensure the seal was straight he did it up all the way in here and he did that so uh, that looks pretty good and so we're gonna see what we can do on this other side I want to show you what happened over there well if it ain't one thing it's another uh, if you uh, you can see a little daylight right here but that's actually the window the black piece right here off the window just came off that's not a it's not a leak at all but you can see some of this right here uh, the the um, the same thing that happened on the other side that the uh, seal kind of uh, popped off the window right there and I kind of pulled some of that seal back on there all right well I just wanted to share with you a couple of tools that I'm and the stuff that I'm going to use to fix this window with we have the 3m auto glass urethane windshield adhesive and it's very important that we have that that will seal up any of those uh, 
any of those spots that we feel that are um, that are loose or wind can get through or anything like that. So the next thing you got to have is good, some good paper towels. I have a knife. I also have another little scraper deal. I have gloves because I'm not, not, not a fan of getting my hands dirty with all this stuff. And then I also have my headlamp. And my headlamp is so that I can see what I'm doing in that kind of a dark corner. So now that I've got all the tools, we're going to get started. So my goal is, is to get this little tip of this tube up underneath here and kind of just go just a little bit along the way. In order to do that, I got this little tool. And this little tool, what it's going to do, it's going to get me <clears throat> up underneath where I need to be. And once I'm able to get up underneath there, just like that, I'll pull it back. And now let's pull back. Let me show you what I did here. I went all along down here, got into the seal, was able to put a nice good caulk line on there. I didn't want to cover this up because that's the number to my windshield right in there. So I go all the way up and then I got up in there as well and I kept it clean as possible. Uh, one of the things when you're working with this stuff is it can get all over the place. That's why I had paper towels down here already set out and uh, and it ready to go. So I think it looks pretty good. I'm going to have just a little bit more right there in that spot and then I'll show you the rest. I know it may be hard to see but I got up all up into that up there, up there. I just kind of just went about it just a little bit more and here it's really hard to see but because uh, it's all black but it's I've tried to seal that up as best as possible the reality of it is I won't know anything until we start driving again I have uh, checked for leaks I poured water all over the sealant and just kind of let it drain it you know stay that water on there to kind of just check and make sure everything was good there are no leaks that came through I just wanted to make sure the inside was sealed as much as the outside is sealed so we don't get then those whistling noises going down the highway and to make sure that everything is okay with our windshield. So having problems with your windshield, from what I understand, from what I investigated and looked at everything, it looks like everybody at some particular time has, has problems with the windshield. Why? Because when we are setting like this and we go back and forth and back and forth that windshield doesn't give and so that can cause uh, its separation it can cause it to cr have a stress crack it can cause multiple things to happen so uh, I would tell you that you need to make sure that you check your windshield uh, maybe once or twice a year just to double check make sure everything is good take off the side trim and just kind of look at your windshield really well and see if it needs to be taken care of. So I had another problem uh, after I took off the trim pieces and, and the reality was the trim pieces were were brittle and so uh, after the sun uh, got done with its toll this is what the trim pieces to the side of this window looks like and as soon as I took it off it just kind of fell apart and so I tried to call around, try to see if I could find some of these, you know, to match or spray paint or whatever the case may be to match the trim. And I could not find a manufacturer that would do that. The good thing is on the other side, when I took it off, you can see that there's also some, some wear uh, where it's kind of worn out and it kind of stuck out there. It's cracked right here, but this stayed the same. So I was able to cut some pieces of of wood, some luon, if you will, um, very uh, thin pieces of wood, and this is part of that wood that I had. And what I did was I was I measured it, and once I got the wood cut to size um, and tested, I went to um, Home Depot, and they did a paint match on this cover, this screw cover that's going to be on here, and they matched it perfectly. So that when we put this trim piece back up, 
the trim piece hides hides the wires and hides everything there but the so the trim piece looks like it's always been there it matches the dash it matches everything that it's supposed to so now that this trim piece is cut uh, and and painted I put it with a satin paint so it wouldn't shine too bright in our faces as we're traveling down the road I pre-drilled the holes and now it's just a matter of fitting it in and putting it on folks I know sometimes things can seem overwhelming when it comes to a motorhome I mean it is just like a house you have to do some maintenance some repairs here and there and you have to keep whether it's a travel trailer a fifth wheel class uh, a class B class C no matter what it is you still have to do some type of maintenance on it don't be afraid to get in there and get your hands a little dirty it's a lot easier than what it looks like and that's what these videos are all about right so listen if you found value in this video please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed but also share it to all these other people so that so that we can get the word out about windshield damage and windshield repair and and that type of thing and all of our other videos on how to take care of a motorhome it's been great being with you today i'm tim and i'll see you down the road